Hey kids, uh, we are gonna be doing some art from home today. And um, what we're gonna be making are these awesome little clownfish. And a clownfish, you probably have seen them before in the movie Nemo. Well, that's a clownfish. And so you're gonna be making your very own at home with your parents and with me. So it's very simple. All we're gonna need are a few supplies. You are going to need plates, a total of two. They can be small or they can be large, whatever you have lying around. They just need to be paper. You are going to need to have scissors. You're gonna be cutting some pieces, so if you need help, that's where your parents come in. You'll need a pencil to draw your outlines. You're also gonna need a black marker. And the black marker, I have a Sharpie, but it can just be a normal Crayola marker, um, whatever you happen to have lying around at home. You're also going to need paint. So this is a painting project. So mom and dad, it is going to get messy, but um, it'll be fun. So we're using orange and we're using black for our Nemos today. And um, if you don't have paint laying around, you can do crayons or you can do markers. It just might take a little extra time because you know that process takes a bit longer. You'll need glue to glue all the pieces together, or if you don't have the glue, tape works as well. Last but not least, you do need your paint brushes. Um, if you have one, that's great. If you don't, um, if you have more than one, use those. Um, but we're gonna get started, again, making our cute little fish. We are gonna start with uh, the body. So um, I put out a piece of paper to protect my table. It does get messy, like I said. So as you can see, I have paint all over everywhere. But um, you're going to take your pencil and you're gonna be creating these three white sections on your plate. These are the stripes for Nemo. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tail and right at the very end, you're just gonna draw a curve. Doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of nature, nothing's perfect. We're then gonna make our middle stripe right in about the middle of the plate. Again, doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be perfect. And our last stripe that we're gonna make is up here. That's gonna be the front of our fish. And as you can see, we've got beautiful lines all sectioned out. What we're gonna do real quickly to help you remember what's the front and what's the back is we are gonna cut our mouth. So if mom and dad needs to help, this will be a great time. We're gonna cut out a small, it's like a little C, right at the front of your fish. Some paper plates are a little harder to cut than others. But again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be an opening and that shows your mouth. Okay. Next step, mom and dad, you might need to help the kids. Uh, we're gonna take the other plate that I asked you to get and we are going to draw the shapes needed to create the fins for Nemo. So these two up here I drew, um, they kind of look like a uh, music picks for a guitar, okay? So they're just a little bit of a round shape. Um, the line that I drew across, that is where we're gonna cut, okay? So it's that shape that we need to create. The circle over here, that is Nemo's eye. And this guy over here is the back of his fin, okay? So that just needs to look more like a triangle, triangle shape. Again, no right, no wrong. And last but not least, this piece here, that is the bottom fin for Nemo. Um, kind of looks like a surfboard fin, if you ask me. But all of these pieces are gonna need to be cut out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five in total. If you need to pause the movie at any time, please do so to catch up, but um, these pieces need to be cut. And 
has two top fins. Are they called dorsal fins? I have no idea. Once you got those pieces, you can get rid of that second plate. You don't need it anymore. Now it's time for the fun part, painting. So we are going to take our orange paint. Okay, and we are going to paint the sections that are outside of the white stripes that we made. Okay, so starting with the face. and paint that nice and bright orange for our clownfish. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just having fun. Okay, so this part right here we know is going to be the white stripe. So we're going to leave that white. Now if you are using a plate that has designs on it, you might need to paint that white stripe white if you don't have plain white plates at home. Keep that in mind. Sorry, my nose is sniffly today. I've got some allergies. my second part of the orange and then the last piece of orange is right here so this is white this will be orange and this will be white Okay, so I've got my white stripes and my orange stripes all set for Nemo. Um, in the meantime, this is going to be drying, so we can put that to the side. Okay, We're going to move on to the pieces that we cut out. Okay, They need to be painted orange as well. So for the tail, the tail needs to be um, face up, I think is what you would call it. So how you would normally eat off of a plate. You're going to put the piece that is smooth behind. Okay, so we're going to want that top piece to be orange. So kids, you can paint this nice and quickly, that nice orange. And when you've got that set, we're going to let that piece dry as well. One down. We've got the fin at the bottom, also going to be orange. Okay, put that off to the side, let that dry. We've got the two top, I think they're dorsal fins. Um, anyway, they're going to be painted orange. This is kind of where the messy part comes in because you got to figure out how to get the whole thing painted orange without getting it all over the place. Okay, and the last one. Okay, so now we need to let those dry. In the meantime, what's left is Nemo's eye. So we're gonna go ahead, put our orange away. I'm gonna take that black marker. Let's get some of this orange off my fingers. Okay, so we gotta make Nemo's little eye right here. So the direction you put it is the way that Nemo's gonna be looking. So I'm gonna think, hmm, I like my Nemo looking back behind him. So we're going to draw 
his pupil. And it's just a black circle that you color in. Okay. So you've got all those pieces together. Okay. So hopefully things are drying. If you need things to dry faster, grab a hair dryer. That helps get the paint dried faster. And I'll come back and see you after my paint is dried. Okay, uh, the orange is dried now, so we need to add our black stripes to the white sections of the fish. So we're looking at these parts right here. Um, again, cat doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doing an outline for your white section. My paint is washable, so it's not very thick, but that's okay. You still get the concept. One of those done. Few more to go. Okay, the plates make it a little challenging to keep your lines where you want them in the paintbrush, but it's okay. Nothing's perfect. It's gonna look amazing when you're done, no matter what you do. Okay. Okay, so our black line should be completed at this point. And you can see you're getting a lot of the body already completed. So what's left for the black is we need to take our tail and we need to complete a swipe of black, so a, a line of black on that edge piece. So it almost looks like it's a piece of pie, right? And your tail will be done. And for your little fin at the bottom, you're going to make a line as well around the rounded part. Okay, that guy's done. And last but not least, for the two dorsal fins up at the top, you're just going to do the top half. Just like that. Okay, and you're done with your black paint. So while these are drying, let's go ahead and glue your eye onto your fish. So you can either use glue or if you have that double-sided stick tape, however you would like. Oops, I just closed it. Where's my glue? There we go. So this case, I'm gonna make Nemo looking behind him and I'm gonna put it pretty much right in the same spot of like his mouth. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the fishtail behind. Okay. And because this has uh, like dimension and whatnot, 
I'm going to use a piece of tape as well to hold it in place until the glue dries. So, just holding that in place. There, not going to hold. <laughs> the tape will come off after everything is dry. We should be at this point right now. Next is going to be the little fin at the bottom. You're just gonna put a little glue. And he's gonna go right at the bottom. Kind of like right under his tummy. And again, I'm just gonna use tape to hold it in place. And last but not least are the two dorsal fins. They go on top. So one on top of his head, right here. And again, just using a piece of tape to hold it until it dries. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna do the same for this guy. Next to it, last piece of tape, and so now all you have to do is let him dry, and you officially have a Nemo or a Clownfish. <laughs>